Joseph Parker fends off Huey Fury over 12 rounds to retain WBO heavyweight title. Joseph Parker fends off Huey Fury over 12 rounds to retain WBO heavyweight title WBO heavyweight boxing champ Joseph Parker prevails with a majority judge's decision after Huey Fury takes him the distance in Manchester. Joseph Parker's quest to conquer the British heavyweight boxing scene and beyond is alive after a gritty win over Huey Fury in Manchester. The WBO world champion defended his title with a majority points decision on Sunday, NZT. The judges scored the fight 118-110, 118-110. And 114-114. Parker's win will send a message to his doubters who have questioned his rights to be at the elite level. It was a solid British debut by the 25-year-old New Zealander as he backed up his pre-fight confidence. Joseph Parker celebrates retaining his WBO heavyweight boxing title with a majority judge's decision over British challenger Huey Fury. Parker cooled and knocked out Fury as promised, but he landed the far heavier punches throughout on a night when Fury used his footwork to try to frustrate the Kiwi. There was huge risk in taking his belt to Fury's backyard but the rewards are massive. Parker earned close to $2 million for the victory but greater riches are now within his grasp. A top British opponent will be lined up in what will be another step towards a unification fight with WBA and IBF champion Anthony Joshua. In the dressing room after the fight Parker told Sky Sports that he felt he had won the bout and believed beating Fury would open up bigger and better things. Andrew Cool George slash Reuters Photosport. NZ Andrew Cool George slash Reuters 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 Photosport. NZ Photosport. NZ Photosport Joseph Parker is awarded the victory after Huey Fury takes him the full 12 rounds in Manchester, England. Joseph Parker winds up with his right hand. Huey Fury throws a straight right. Huey Fury misses with a right hand. Huey Fury didn't have it all his way in the ring with Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker lands a left hand on Huey Fury. Joseph Parker gets Huey Fury up on the ropes. Joseph Parker gets a pep talk from trainer Kevin Berry. Joseph Parker has Huey Fury on the ropes. One of nine previous previous next next I feel this opens up big fights, said Parker, who claimed he would fight anyone and everyone in the elite heavyweight division. The Aucklander said he was really happy to be able to take the title home and he would have a bit of a break in New Zealand before resuming training in Las Vegas under Kiwi coach Kevin Berry. Parker felt he was more aggressive than Fury but said his rival did move well and was very awkward. Andrew Cool George slash Reuters former world heavyweight boxing champion Tyson Fury reacts in anger after cousin Huey is defeated by Joseph Parker in the WBO tile fight in Manchester, England. He said he caught him with the harder punches and felt he had won the fight easily, but was glad the judges saw it that way. Fury loses his zero. Parker took his perfect record to 24-0 and handed the 23-year-old Fury his first defeat in 21 outings. Andrew Cool George slash Reuters Joseph Parker lines up a body shot on Huey Fury in their WBO heavyweight boxing title fight in Manchester, England. The scalp of a Fury is significant in these quarters and while Huey is far cry from his illustrious cousin Tyson, a lineal champion in the glamour division, Parker can now to rate off the Fury name. 
having earned respect with his manners and behavior over a sometimes unruly fortnight in the UK, Parker let his gloves do the talking. It was another grinding win, similar to his skirmish with Carlos Takam and Andy Ruiz, but it was more than enough in the minds of the judges with even British judge Terry O'Connor scoring his card 118-110. Trainer Kevin Barry backs the performance of his fighter Joseph Parker after he cooled and land a knockout punch on Huey Fury. The crowd went flat as the decision was read, but there could be few arguments in terms of who landed the significant blows. Fury was bitterly disappointed. I don't think he won the fight at all. He said in a lonely ring at the end with Parker having already departed to celebrate in his dressing room. Parker made a busy start and had some struggles finding his range, but eventually landed the better shots. Fury worked his jab and managed to weave away from trouble and was quick to counter punch. Parker was forced to muscle his way in and try and catch Fury on the ropes but it was a difficult task with Fury's dancing feet. Parker started to get effective in the fourth, splitting Fury's right eyebrow. Referee Marcus McDonough ordered Parker to keep his head up on his charges and also had a word to Fury for slapping with the back of his gloves as the fifth round heated up with Parker landing some powerful body shots. Fury started to find his rhythm and landed three telling bows in the sixth round with an uppercut and straight right as Parker advanced, and a good overhand right. The Brit was effective in tying up Parker's attacks, but the Kiwi landed a good overhand right that Fury took flush on the jaw as the fight entered its second half. It was cat and mouse as Parker tried to stalk Fury down. But it was a tricky assignment cutting off the ring and trying to corner his opponent. Parker dominated an action-packed ninth round with two strong flurries. He continued to land the bigger shots but there were long intervals of inactivity as Fury moved off his back foot and countered effectively. Parker finished strongly but cooled and put Fury away. Tyson Fury jumped into the ring at the end. Sure his cousin had brought his belt home. But it wasn't to be. Parker now returns to New Zealand for a break before heading back to his Las Vegas base to prepare with trainer Kevin Barry for the next assignment. The pressure now falls on Parker promoter David Higgins to turn this performance into something bigger and better than what unfolded in the lead-up to Manchester from what was a long and often a tortured promotional process. Parker deserves that, and even the British must now acknowledge that.